I have a question for all the builders, architects and roofers out there. Within the context of a garden room in a British climate, this is a cold roof and this is a warm roof. A cold roof works with a vapour control air that runs up the walls and along the top of the ceiling with insulation and then an air gap. And the primary advantage of this approach is it's shallow. A warm roof on the other hand, built similarly below, but you've got insulation on the top, which means you can run as much insulation as you like, so you have better insulation. On top of that, it's thermally unbroken, so it's working harder for you. Below, you've got voids here, so you can run your cabling and your lighting no problem at all. This is generally considered to be the better approach, but I think there's a big flaw in it. You have a vapor control layer that runs up the walls, and you have a vapor control layer that runs inside the roof layer here, which is great because it's not gonna be interfered with with wiring and cables and so forth. But a vapor control layer needs to be an unbroken layer and like you've got a huge break right here where all the moisture is able to transmit back and forth. You can have condensation. I see that as a problem, but I'd love to hear your opinion. Are we seeing a problem where there isn't one or is this something the whole industry is just ignoring?